Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about finding number of zeros within a row of zeros and ones in SAS. This topic could be better understood with an example below. In this example, we have every row with column 1 to column 6 with either zeros or 1. And our goal is to find how many number of zeros are there in each row. This can be easily done with the help of two functions. And let us discuss each one of them and then finally we will combine both of them to find our solution. Now let us discuss the first function. The first function is n function. And here we are creating our data set and in this data set we are going to use n function on column 1 to column 6. Whenever we want to mention multiple columns in SAS, we can simply use of call 1 hyphen to call 6. This means we want a particular function to be applied on this 6 columns. N function gives number of non-missing numeric variables. Here we have 6 variables and all of them are non-missing so we have our value of cn as 6. Same is the case for other two rows. The next function which we are going to discuss is sum function. Sum function gives sum of the columns which we mention in argument for sum function. Here we are mentioning sum of call 1 to call 6. And as we have only zeros and 1s, this gives us total number of 1s we have in a row. Now that we have found the number of variables and also number of ones. So in a row of zeros and ones, number of variables minus number of ones gives number of zeros. So to find number of zeros, first we are going to do number of variables and then we are going to subtract it from sum of variables. Here is a proc print of the dataset created above. It contains number of zeros column. And here, let's try to understand our results for a couple of rows. Here, we have four zeros and we got number of zeros as four. And also, for the next row, we have three zeros and we have got number of zeros as three. Before finishing this topic, I would like to mention two points. The first one is, I might have used the words variable and column interchangeably. It is fine as both of them are same. And the second one is what I have shown is one way to solve the problem. There could be many more ways to solve the same problem. That's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.